Right, there has been something that has been absolutely constant in this transfer window, and that is the links between Frankie de Jong and Manchester United. Considering that this player still hasn't signed for Manchester United, and we've, we've more or less signed two players um, where the rumours started way after the initial rumours started with Frankie, something's holding this deal up. Now, what is that something? You'd, you'd be right in thinking nothing has changed and there's... there's uh, or you, you might think there's nothing changed and and that this is a lot of bollocks and it's just paper talk and he doesn't want to come. That seems to be the big sort of narrative surrounding this transfer saga. Um, but I think there's more to it than that. On the 14th of July, Manchester United reached full agreement, according to Fabrizio Romano, with Barcelona for Frankie de Jong. And further talks are going to take place now with uh, the personal terms because his priority on the face of things, is to stay at Barcelona. So let's look at the facts. United and Barcelona have agreed that they both want this deal to happen, and something is preventing that deal from happening. What seems to be the case is it's Frankie's priority to stay at Barcelona, simple as that. That's the surface thing that I think a lot of people, and certainly a lot of United fans are, are kind of getting a knickers in a twist over, saying, I, I don't want to play, I don't want to play for the club, and neither do I. I think there's a lot more to it than that. In the last months of the international break, Frankie did come out and say, I prefer to stay out with Barcelona. Barcelona's my dream club. Usually gets a lot, uh, usually takes a lot for a player to move away from their dream club. Big success, big wages, that sort of thing. And United probably not in a position to offer either of those things at the moment. And the opinion that United need to stop signing players who don't want to be here is a valid one, completely valid. We've paid over the odds a few times to get players in when they seemingly weren't set on coming here um if the club is succeeding you 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 know you need to sign a player that's not fully behind the project is there much point do they want away are they looking at a stepping stone if they've you know they've bounced into here is their heart really in it and you find yourself in a scenario where the club's trying to rebuild won't be plain sailing will be times when we make mistakes and on the surface, signing a player that doesn't want to be here is a mistake because it doesn't feel like you want to bring a player here against their wishes. But here's what I think is going on. Frankie de Jong is, is owed a lot of money by Barcelona. And at the beginning of the month, uh, Spanish sports newspaper Marca revealed the full details of Frankie's contract and in particular the extent at which Barcelona have messed him around. According to Marca, Barcelona were struggling during COVID, as we know, and as a result, De Jong, along with the other first-team players, gave up 12% of their salary to help the club. The continuation of the pandemic resulted in further economic damage to the club, and as a result, De Jong and Barcelona renegotiated his contract. There was an agreement that De Jong would extend his contract by two years and take a huge pay cut for the seasons 20 and 21 and uh, 21 and 22. And he deferred his wages. It meant that in 2021, instead of being paid 14 million, he would be paid three. And instead of being paid 14 million in, in the second season, he would be paid nine. That 16 million that he was then owed, that they hadn't paid to him, was due to be paid over the duration of the remainder of his contract. Now, the problem for Frankie is if he moves, there is no contract with Barcelona. Therefore, that 16 million which was deferred is not technically owed it was badly advised and it's snide on barcelona's part they owe supposedly uh pk somewhere in the region of 45 million you know they owe over a billion to the banks and to other people and they're still going out and signing players they are a fucking mess they're an absolute it, it, honestly it's a joke how they are allowed to be run the way they are allowed to be run um, like I said, the money has been agreed to be paid back to him over the duration of the remaining four seasons of his contract. But there's no guarantee he gets that money, especially if he moves. It's such a huge amount of money that I don't think anybody can say to Frankie, just give it up. Barcelona are suggesting that he maybe gets paid three and ignores the rest, which is ludicrous. The fact that they even suggest that just tells me how much of a level of a crook this club is. 
If he wants to stay at Barcelona, that's fine. I think he's probably looking at going to the court of arbitration for sport with this one. And I think he needs to have his ducks in a row. Barcelona have agreed a fee with Manchester United. Barcelona are on the surface of things um, looking like they want to move him on. The other thing that's at play here is Barcelona are looking to try and force him into a salary reduction to be kept around next season. Now, that is constructive dismissal. They've tried to sell him. They've tried to force him to accept a lower contract and left him with no other option. That is literally the definition of constructive dismissal and any court is going to side in favour of Frankie with this one. The problem Frankie's got is he probably needs to go about this. I can see this end up in court. Unfortunately for United, I think if it goes to court, it probably won't end up in court before the end of the transfer window. I can see this at least being threatened to go to court. And I think what Frankie needs to do is to demonstrate that I'm at my dream club. I have no desire to leave. They're trying to force me out. I am entitled to that money. And I think that's the game he's playing at the moment. And more to it than that, I think that the relationship with Eric Ten Hag means that I don't think United continue this farce if he's not already privately said to Ten Hag, yeah, let me sort this out and I'll have a bit of that. I think the prior relationship and respect that exists between the two of them, if he genuinely did not want to come to Manchester United and is like that, listen, boss, not for me. I don't think United continue to pursue him. I think we've already moved on to a secondary target. I think the fact that Manchester United are seemingly still pursuant of this target and have gone to the lengths to agree a deal with Barcelona. Quite often, the fee is the last thing to be agreed. You have to get the eyes off the player. You have to get the sign off from his agent. These are the things that tend to happen way before the fee is agreed with the club. The fee agreement with the club, even though that's technically the, the rules, is usually the last thing to go off. I can't sit here and say for sure that this is going to get concluded in this window but I don't believe that he doesn't want to play for Manchester United. I think he's just kind of playing the game because this is likely to go to court at some point and he's letting it be known via the press, via all of these different leaks. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. The strengths of the denials make me think there's something in this. Let's hope they can get it resolved because he's a hell of a footballer and I would love to see him at United. But it's messy and Barcelona made it this fucking messy and I don't mean Leo. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.